I'm doing a video for pageant makeup for if you are tan complected and you have dark hair like myself. I'm especially making this video for a girl here on YouTube who I know has a beauty pageant coming up and her name's Stephanie so hey girl and um, basically she goes by the username SMLXO and we all need to definitely support her in pageantry and if you don't I will beat your ass because she's beautiful and she's definitely going to win and I hope these pageant tips are going to help her. Um, basically what I did was I went on and put on a pageant dress. You guys can see. Let's see. Oh, I'm a beauty queen. I should have been on a crown, but oh well. So anyways, guys, um, is my camera wobbling that bad? Really? Okay, so this video, um, at the end I'm telling you what I'm going to put on my lips, but I kind of cut out. So the lip liner I'm using is Spice by CoverGirl, and the lipstick is Viva Glam 5 from MAC. And then I just put on kind of a light baby pink lip gloss on the center of my lips. So first, before I start on the tutorial and before you guys see that, I'm going to tell you guys the five tips that the five mistakes that most pageant girls do make. And it's tragic and it drives me crazy. And if I ever see you doing this, I'm going to hit you with this little wand that I want in whatever pageant it was. So first of all is fake nails. Fake nails just do not look natural um, when you have the white tips it just does not look natural at all and it's just really a very bad mistake that a lot of girls do make um, crunchy hair holy shit if I see another girl out there with some tight Shirley Temple curls and 10 gallons of some big sexy hairspray on her hair I'm gonna shoot myself or her first I don't know I haven't decided yet but that drives me crazy and that's a huge mistake that a lot of girls do make so, you know, just kind of have your hair natural and flowy and soft to where you look like you can actually run your fingers through it. Um, another tip is wearing too much makeup. You definitely want to look natural, but enhance your natural features, you know. Um, yeah, I am wearing a good amount of makeup, but I still feel like I look fairly natural. Um, you don't want to go out there with bare face because that's just not cool. Um, then another tip is number four, and it is matching your eyeshadow to your dress. Girl, if you are wearing a turquoise blue dress, does not mean that turquoise blue eyeshadow needs to be on your eyelids. Don't do it, okay? Just don't. Because it doesn't look natural. You're, okay, just leave the turquoise eyeshadow to another day when you're wearing a turquoise shirt. You don't have to match your eyeshadow to your dress. Another thing that a lot of girls make, mistake that a lot of girls make, is wearing body glitter and glitter hairspray. Okay, leave the glitter to strippers. And I'm just going to say that. Just leave the glitter to the strippers. That's it. And I'm done. So, um, I know this dress kind of is falling off of me because it's a size 4. And I'm really tiny now. I'm, I'm a size 0. So, <laughs> um, it's kind of falling off of me and it's kind of hanging in the back. But, whatever. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. And please comment, subscribe. And Stephanie, I really hope that some of these tips do help you out in your pageantry and your pageant and your um, all that stuff. And I really hope, I wish you the best of luck and you're going to look beautiful and you're going to look safe. This does not have a pump and I heard that they were working on getting a pump. I like to take a Q-tip and just kind of dig down in there and get some of my foundation on the Q-tip so I'm not wasting as much. Um, it really does help you from, you know, pouring out a whole lot of foundation on your brush or onto a, um, coaster or, you know, whatever you pour your foundation on. So, I'm just going to take this Q-tip and then just kind of put it on my chin. So now, I'm just going to dot all this foundation up onto my, um, cheeks and chin area. And then blend in a circle in motion and go slightly down your chin. I mean, I yeah, your, not your chin, your neck. I that and, oh my goodness, I'm going to turn off Spongebob because, yeah, I'm a little kid. Don't be hating. Um, now just get a little bit more of that foundation for your cheek, the rest of your cheeks and the rest of your forehead. And then just... Any extra that you pick up on that Q-tip, I'll just kind of wipe under my eyes or, you know, something like that. And it kind of seems to work a little bit better. So now I'm just dotting the rest of this on all over on top of my eyelids and everything. 
and then you're just going to want to blend in that same circle motion and blend down onto your neck. Now for under your eyes it does not have to be perfect if you still have some dark circles that's fine because you're going to want to use a concealer to conceal any imperfections you have. Um, I have personally, I have like translucent skin. Even though I'm really tan, my skin you can like see through like my veins. You can see my veins and my eyelids and over here on my cheeks some. So I really don't like going without foundation because of that. And I really don't know why. You can see like my veins everywhere like in my wrist and in my um, elbow area. So now I'm going to use the MAC Select Cover Up Concealer. Oh, the foundation I'm using is Revlon Color Stay and it's in the color Early Tan. I am kind of pale right now, so, um, you know, it's kind of a downside. But this concealer is NW30. And the reason I'm using an NW is because the pink in a NW concealer, even if you are NC, is going to counteract any kind of... Um, darkness, um, any kind of purple tints that you have going on, and stuff like that. So basically I'm going to use a 224 brush, make sure there's not any, make sure it's very clean, and I'm just going to pick up all that concealer and dot under my eyes, and then kind of go on top of your eyelid with any extra. And then I am just going to circle motion all the way around and you want to make sure that you start blending this right when it's wet you don't want it to dry because then it's going to be like two different colors and that's not good so make sure that your concealer and your foundation are like the exact same color um you don't want to go with one light lighter than your foundation and you don't want to go with one darker than your foundation make sure it's the exact same shade um even though this is an nw and I'm an NC personally. The color is the same. The only difference is it has a little bit of pink. But with the dark circles, you're going to reverse that kind of pink and it's still going to look NC ish. So, dotting some more concealer because I have really dark circles. I don't get a lot of sleep, um, <laughs> which is really sad. But, Stephanie, yes, I did do pageantry. Um, yeah, I did do pageants for about two or three years. And that was before I went in my stage where I was like, I'm going to dye my hair black. I don't care. And I had blonde hair and I was always really afraid to have my hair natural, my natural color because I didn't know how I'd look because I always had blonde hair. And, um, you know, I had blonde hair when I was young and then just started progressively getting darker as I got older. So I started highlighting. But now I'm just going to take a cosmetic wedge with some translucent powder. This is MAC. You can use whatever brand you have. I just personally have MAC on hand. And press this up under your eyes. And I know that looks really, really crazy. But then you're just going to want to blend up under that eye. And make sure that it's looking good. And then for the rest of your powder, you're just going to take a Kabuki brush. This is the MAC 182, and get a little bit of that translucent powder, tap off any kind of excess you have, and then just blend into your face. And I personally like loose powders better for pageants because it just goes on, you know, a little bit smoother on top of the foundation versus a um, pressed powder, which is a little bit harder to pick up with a brush. So this just kind of sets on your skin very nicely. And the MAC translucent powder is amazing. And this is actually um, blot powder in medium. So, yeah, I don't know if that's really technically translucent, but whatever. <laughs> um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a Milani blush. In my first video, I did show mostly MAC products because they have names that most people can recognize and you can go online and view that product and see exactly what shade it is but for the tutorial I am using drugstore products because it's a lot easier to go out and get a drugstore product so this is a Milani blush and this is in Sunset Beach which is kind of like a corally brown and I'm just going to pick up some of this color on top of my brush and you want to kind of suck in your cheeks and go right here down do not put it on the apples of your cheeks 
watch how I'm, um, I'm going to do the motion. Um, it's kind of hard to explain when you're sucking in your cheeks, but... Okay, so you see how this is the area that I'm working on. Not quite hitting the apples of my cheeks, which are like right here. See? Apples. And then just mostly over in this area to kind of contour and make my face seem slimmer because I have a very um, round face and I personally think I have a fat head. <laughs> so I'm just using this to kind of give the illusion of a slimmer face. Blast in the brown and tan one and then I use the tan end to prime all over my eyes. So now what I'm going to do is take my eyeshadows and let's get these bitches over here. Okay, so first for my eyeshadows what I'm going to use is this is a Physicians Formula eyeshadow, um, one of the brick looking things, shimmer strips. And this is in the Malibu strip so this has kind of like white a uh, sand color, a light brown, a pinky color, and a medium kind of darkish brown. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a 239 brush from MAC and get this shell color. This is kind of like a sand color and pat this on the inner first half of your lid and in that kind of um, tear corner right there. And then just bring that up and then kind of clean off that brush and then take your darker brown that's right up under it and put this on the second half and then just kind of make sure that this is blending in. Um, now what I'm going to do is take, this is a, um, hood loud, two something brush, I don't know, <laughs> and I'm going to take this dark color at the bottom and pick some of that up and put it in my crease. And I'm putting this into that crease. And I'm not going too far out with it um, because I'm going to put some black and a darker brown. With this same brush, I'm going to take a CoverGirl eyeshadow. And this is in the um, Brown Smolder. So it's a really, really dark chocolate brown. It's very comparable to Espresso from MAC. Um, you know, whatever. And I'm going to take this color and I'm going to put it right here in my crease on that outer corner. And then just kind of blending in to the crease halfway. And once that's done, it's kind of harsh looking, so I'm just going to take a um, 222 brush from MAC and blend this all together in my crease. Once that's done, I'm going to take a 222 brush from MAC with black, uh, is this is Black Tide or Black Tracks? I think it's the Black Tide, the sparkly black one. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to pick up just a small amount on that 222 brush and in a circle motion put this in the right in the outer corner just to kind of give some definition. Okay, now that that's done, you're going to line your eyes. Oh, wait, no. You're going to highlight with blonde type, which is a matte white. I'm personally using a matte color to highlight because I have so much shimmer on my lids. And I don't really want to look like a big ass glitter ball, so yeah. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm actually going to go back with this black. I'm not going to put any on the brush, but just kind of blend that up just a little bit. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm going to take a liquid eyeliner and line my eyeline, line my eyelids um, as close to the lash line as possible, and then line my bottom. Okay, guys, so I have my eyeliner and mascara on and all that good stuff now. And I'm just going to take this 222 brush with the MAC Pigment in Provence. Um, I think it's Provence. Yeah. And I'm just going to pick up a little, little bit of this. And I'm going to highlight along my apples of my cheeks. And just kind of blend this onto the apples and right above that blush. You got it. A really cool trick, um, I personally do not like heated eyelash curlers because they do not heat my, they don't curl my lashes right. So I like to take just a basic eyelash curler and a cigarette lighter. Um, if you don't want your parents to think you're smoking cigarettes and you still want to use this um, tip, which, you know, personally for me, if I want to have a damn cigarette lighter in my room, I can't because I'm 18 years old. But, you know, if you're younger, what you can do is turn on your curling iron on the highest heat setting and then just press your um, 
eyelash curler alongside the barrel and just kind of heat it up a little bit. But what I do is I take the lighter and just kind of heat up this part right